नमस्ते दोस्तों सो वेलकम टू टैली सीरीज आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सम वीडियोस ऑफ टैली यू कैन रेफर दोज वीडियोस लेट्स मूव फर्दर सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट कॉन्ट्रा वाउचर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट पेमेंट वाउचर ओके सो आई विल शो यू बाई डूइंग This is the path where I have saved my tally data. So I'll copy the path by clicking Alt T, Alt T, Control C for copying. Then go to Tally, Control Alt V. You have to press. So I have to record a payment entry. I'll go to voucher. Okay, here, here you can see on top left that a type of voucher selected is already payment. But from here, let's suppose if it was a receipt, then what you have to press? You have to press F5 or function F5, or by clicking on payment on right hand side. you can go to payment voucher then date date of payment since this is educational mode so all dates uh, on all dates we cannot record entries so i'll select here payment can be made through either through cash or bank or uh, there can be adjustments like from a data if we have a balance to be received and we purchase something from that person only so that account can be adjusted and it will be shown under general so later i'll show that as well in this we will learn about basic basic entries and a uh, payment that is through bank and cash so let's suppose that we have an expense of xerox expense or photocopy expense whatever you call of rupees 100 or 1000 you can take so what will be the entry as per golden rule this is an expense so we debit all expenses as per golden rule and nominal and then if you are making payment through bank then we will credit bank because it's going out and bank is the giver in this case so i'll uh, see if office expense is there or not no there is no ledger in last video i showed you how to create a ledger i'll press alt c you can see alt c i pressed then i'll type office expense here i am taking photo copy expense as office expense you can create uh, an account named photo copy expense or xerox expense or you can show office expense based on materiality enter enter this is indirect expense i'll select as it is okay office expense account debit so 1000 name of cost center so for which department this cost is incurred you have to select i already taught you about cost center in my previous videos you can refer for a uh, detail and clarity here i am selecting like for uh, it services 1000 then two either you have to select bank or cash so i am making payment through cash I selected cash for uh, entries. You give narration here. I am selecting as it is. It's showing negative cash, but I am accepting by clicking Control A. See, so my entry I have already recorded. That was through payment was through cash. Suppose. 
I made a payment. Let me check the creditor. If if there is any creditor, I'll make payment through cash. Uh, I mean bank. Okay. Okay. So I'm taking here also office expense only. Two hundred IT services, and instead of cash, I have to select bank, city bank. So I will accept by pressing. Control. Why I am debiting office expense? As I already told you, we debit all expenses and losses, and we credit all incomes and gains. Gains, and in this case, bank is the giver, so I am crediting. Control. I pressed. That entry is also recorded. You can check that entry by clicking page page up. Okay, this was my first entry. That was payment. Here you can see you have to be very careful while recording entry. I have selected here payment. Now by pressing pays down, we can go to next entry, and that how we made payment through bank. So that's it for today, and uh, this type of voucher we learned was payment. In our last video, we learned about contra, and contra I already told you wherever bank and cash both are involved, or bank to bank transactions are recorded under contra. Okay, thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.